they're going to wriggle from their shells. Turtle eggs in warm sand can be ready to hatch in six weeks. But if the sand is cool, it can take three weeks longer. And you know what my daughter and I learned this week? That if the sand is warmer, then it's going to be boy eggs, right? It turns them into boy turtles. And if the sand is cooler, it turns them into girl turtles, right? So you want to have just the right mix of sand at the right depth to make sure that they're both boys and girls. But that's the mom's job to dig that nest. So when they hatch, above them on the beach, a hundred eyes watch, right? On the lookout for a meal. So the hatchlings have to wait until night. The horizon, where the sea meets that sky, tells the baby turtles which way to turn to get to the water. But street lights, and buildings next to the beach can confuse them and make them go the wrong way. Look, they're bursting through the sand and they're skittering toward the sea. Right? Oh no, look, crap, I've got one of them. Oh no, another crab. Right? It's dangerous for them. In the dark, claws and beaks and grabbing paws miss only one young turtle. One day, she'll remember this beach and she'll come back to lay her eggs, right? But only one makes it, only one turtle. But now, she dives under the waves and she swims and swims and swims out into the arms of the ocean, far, far out to sea. Land becomes a memory, waiting to wake in the head of that one little turtle. There's the index. It says, you can look up the pages to find out all about these turtle things. Don't forget to look at both kinds of word. This kind and big and this kind. It tells you the facts, right? This is a great book to have because not only is it a story, but it also teaches you facts, real information that scientists have figured out, okay? So that's one of my favorite stories about one tiny turtle, a loggerhead sea turtle that hatches. And it's kind of amazing to think about it that even if that mom lays hundreds of eggs, only one might make it to the water. That's why sea turtles are endangered, right? Endangered means that there's not many left, or there's fewer of them left, and it's harder for them to keep on growing and keep on making new babies, right? But there's things that we can do as humans to help these sea turtles, right? So when you go to the beach this summer, make sure that when you're done playing on the beach at the end of the day, that you bring all of your toys and all of your chairs and towels back up to the beach house, right? So leave the sand clear. And if you've dug any holes or made a sand castle, please fill them in, right? Because sometimes if the babies run into a sand castle or they run into a hole, they're gonna get stuck and they're not gonna make it to the sea. The other thing you can do is make sure that when you're at the beach and you're outside at night, please don't use flashlights, right? That can scare the turtles too. Turn off the outside lights at your house and if you're inside watching a movie or playing games with your family, make sure to pull down those shades, right? So that way the sea turtles won't get confused by the light coming from your house, right? And then another thing that we've talked about this year a lot is trash, right? If you leave litter on the beach, that might get the turtle's confused or the mom turtle might eat it or it may get washed up to sea and then the turtles may eat it, right? Some turtles like to eat jellyfish and when we let plastic bags end up in the ocean, the turtles think that those bags are jellyfish and they eat them and then they can die, right? So that's why Miss Charlotte and Miss Jillian and Miss Amber, a lot of us have been talking to you guys about not using plastic utensils and plastic straws if you don't really need them, right? Because a lot of the times those things can end up out in the ocean, right? If they're not thrown out carefully, right? And they can hurt the sea animals out there. So there's lots of things that you can do right now to help turtles out, right? And one of the best things you can do is to read and to watch and to learn more about sea turtles so you know more about them and how to help them, right? 
Have fun this summer, boys and girls. All right, I miss you. I'll see you in August.